Welcome. Today, we will talk about the advanced features of plans, such as scenarios and the auto scheduler. Scenarios allow us to explore alternative scenarios and assess the long-term impact of planning decisions in a consequence-free environment. In the other side, we have the auto scheduler that automatically schedules work items that have been estimated in our plan and then adjusts the generated plan to meet our needs. So to see this in our plan, let's go back here and let's check out the auto the scheduler features first. So this feature will construct a plan using work item details, which you can then adjust to meet your exact needs. It balances a range of different values, such as the dates assigned to the work item, the work item estimates, the team's capacity, and any dependencies between the work items. So, for example, here we can assign a bunch of estimates to our stories, such as four days for this task, another two days for the API development, three days for the front end team, and another three days for the thing. So as you can see here, while we are adding this information in, in the estimates, it rolls up the information directly to our epic. So it will add up the number of days that we need to complete all our tasks under the epic. The auto scheduler will take the information about the team's capacity, the estimates that were given, and it will auto populate the start, due date, and it will assign it to a specific sprint. So let's see how this works. We can go to this button here, and this will schedule the work based on the configuration. So right now, we are seeing that the start and due date already have some values, but this is better to be seen on the timeline. So if we go to the timeline, we'll see that our epic will take around 42 days. The first task will be assigned to the first sprint in 14 days. And the other two tasks that are dependent on the first task will be assigned into the second sprint. And the fourth task will be assigned in the last sprint. So we can see that our activities have been assigned to a specific sprint with a setup of dates and our epic it's constructed by all the time that it will take for our stories to be resolved same thing for the other epic that we'll still have open is planning accordingly and once we accept the changes we'll see that on the fields will have the start and due dates assigned automatically. Also, once we accept those changes, what we can do is, for example, let's say that we don't want to start the last epic the 12th of May, and we want to start it the 1st of July. So we can move the epic to the beginning of July. It will move all the information of their stories and it will move also their due dates and everything. So we can check that here. We'll see that it will start the 1st of July and it will go until August 11. Also, we can check our capacity view and we can make sure that our teams are doing okay with this planification. So for example, here we are seeing that uh, we have some tasks planned for teams for July, for June, for May. But on May, we have our testing team with a lot of work and it's going over capacity. So we can move the last task around to the next sprint. And we, will, we won't see the exceeding capacity of our team again. This is a way to fix the issue that we had. Now, let's talk about the scenarios. So basically, scenarios help us during our, pro our process of planning. 
when we have large pieces of work, uh, it can involve a lot of assumptions that can each cause a ripple effect in our plan. The Scenarios tool help you to plan for and assess the impact of possible outcomes by mapping out different what-if versions of your plan. Your plan is a sandbox environment, meaning that any changes you make won't be committed back to your Jira work items until you choose to do so. That's why we have the unsafe changes button here. And until we click on save changes, we won't apply those changes to our Jira work items. So for example, in this plan that we have the initial scenario, we already set up the information for our start and due date of the last two epics, right? And we are seeing that information on our timeline. If we go to a different scenario, we can modify the information around. We still don't see the information of our last two epics. We're only seeing the information of the first two epics that we already planned. And for the last two epics, we can still modify um, the estimates. So for example, let's put only two days for development of the backend, one day for API, one another five days for the front end, and two days for testing, right? And let's say that we want to start this feature the 1st of May, and it needs to be done by the end of the month. So now we can execute again the auto scheduler. Also, we can choose under which task we want to execute the auto scheduler feature. So we'll select only this, uh, these stories on the, uh, under Epic. And then we can schedule the work. Now that we get, we have given some information that's different than we had in our previous scenario, we'll have a different outcome. So we are seeing that the starts and due dates are different. And we can also see that information here on our timeline. So let's accept these changes. And remember, until we save the changes in our plan, those changes won't be committed to our Jira work items. So here we see that despite that with our epic starts the 1st of May, our first task will be starting the 12th of May. That might be due to some capacity issues. So let's go to our capacity view. And here we can see our information. So let's check the front, the back end. And here on the first sprint, we have eight out of 12 and a half days allocated. And that's why our tasks that will take more than three or four days won't be able to fit on the first sprint. That's why they move it to the next one. And since it has a dependency, the other task was moved also to the right. And basically, this is how we can compare the information that we had in our initial plan and in the other plan that we want to make a couple of changes and see what's the difference, what the different outcome of our plan will be. So that's how uh, scenarios work. And thanks for watching.